Okay, so welcome to my new series, which will see me focusing on different types of bait and how to get the best out of them. Today, it's springtime. We're in the Shropshire countryside again by a lovely lake. And what we're looking at is sweet corn. So, sweet corn is probably one of the most versatile baits that you can use at this time of year. Perfect, perfect for early spring conditions. It's colorful. It's sweet, it's flavoursome, it's not got a lot of um, substance to it, a lot of liquid in there, so it's not filling up the carp. You know, it's something you can feed them, um, they can eat it and they're, they're, they'll just keep coming back for that. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect for this time of year. And it's not just carp. I mean, sweet corn will catch all sorts of fish. Um, tench, bream, roach. I've even caught perch on sweet corn. Not this a favourite thing, but everything at times will take a piece of sweet corn so i'm going to put together the rig that i use and a few methods hints and tips that um, will hopefully help you get the best out of this bait at this time of year Okay, so my first tip with using corn is to actually put it in a PVA bag and, and attach it to your rig when you cast out. It's a real simple tip. Um, as soon as I found it, it really did change my angling. So the main thing we've got with, um, with corn is that, especially when it comes out the tin, it's quite wet. Now, I use the juice out of uh, my corn, never tip away the juice. Any juices you get out of the tin of corn, um, keep those for your method. But, so I drain the juice off. So the corn's still damp, as you can see. And if I put that in a PVA bag, it's just gonna melt straight away. So what I do, take, just take a couple of small handfuls of corn. And we're gonna mix in salt just bog standard salt. Doesn't have to be sea salt or anything else, just salt. And as long as that, as long as that corn's covered in salt, mix it round, let the corn soak it up. And that'll now be able to be put in PVA, put into a PVA bag, hooked on my rig and cast out. Okay, so I've got wide mesh, core and PVA. Salted sweet corn. Straight into the bag. The other good thing about putting salt on it is that sweet and sour taste of the salt and the sweet sweet corn is another winner when it comes to attracting a lot of fish. They do look a bit of salt at this time of year. Bag tied up, perfect. Hooked on the rig and cast out. Okay, so the rig I'm using today to fish with the bags of sweet corn. It's dead simple. It's just some corum sinking corn. I've got sinking and floating done half and half, so it's semi, semi buoyant, just sits up above the hook on the bottom like that. I've got our 10 pound micro braid, because these aren't big fish, it's just small fish. Scaled down carp gear, if you like. I've got a avid lead clip and one of our tail rubbers. Okay, so the, the bag of corn, bag of salted corn with the 
corn up, mate. Has at last got us a bite. I don't think it's the biggest fish in the world, but welcome on day like today. Okay, another tip that I use is to colour corn. Um, sometimes when corn's been used a lot, um, fish get very wary of going over a patch of yellow corn. So um, a bit of a dodge around that I found is to colour it. You can buy um, ready coloured corn or you can colour it with food colourings or personally I use the lava rocks from uh, Sonia. Um, mix some uh, lava rocks into your corn in a bag with some air. Um, mix it round, they, they, they soon dissolve, starts to colour your corn and then leave it for a couple of days so it really impregnates the corn and uh, makes it that lovely vibrant red. At any stage in this process you can add some, um, some flavours. Um, this is a haze, it adds just that little bit more colour and some uh, flavour as well. So give coloured corn a try. Okay, so another way I've found using sweet corn uh, is with the method. I mean, we all know what the method is. It's a, it's absolutely fantastic way of catching fish, presenting a bait all in one. Um, I'm using the Corum Dura feeder, um, just the same as before. Balanced piece of plastic corn, um, a short hook link, and one of our tight, small gripper hooks. So the main thing is when I'm mixing the method is I'm using a hemp and alib base um, and then keeping that that juice from the tin corn which really does make it lovely and sticky and flavor it so I'm using the juice out of the corn never ever throw your juice away I said this before we've come back to it to make the method mix handful of hemp and sweet corn in that and it gives you that beautiful method mix. There's little dots of yellow corn, taking it back, popping the bait in there. Perfect for a bite. Okay, so my final tip with sweet corn is to blend it. So you still get all your sweetness, all the attraction, all the flavor, and lots and lots of color. But when you blend it, you're not having those individual food items. Like I said at the start, sweet corn isn't a bait that fills the fish up particularly quickly and has got a lot of liquid content. And these tins of Sonu corn absolutely blend brilliant because the juice in them just helps it make it into this almost emulsification. Now, the main, the main type of fishing I will use this for at this time of year is if I'm zig fishing and I want to spot over zigs, I want to introduce a lot of cloud into the water, a lot of colour. So I'll just show you by dropping a bit of this in that how it clouds the minute it hits the water. So if you can see that, it gives off a lot of colour, a lot of flavour and uh, a lot of attraction. There we go, a little common to wrap up the day on corn. Caught on a few different methods. Not been the easiest day, but just shows us corn works in spring. Get on the corn. <laughs>